latest hit for a new kind of rat trap seems to be helping curb an infestation problem in Brooklyn. The rats were just running everywhere around Borough Hall and became so bad that city leaders looked for new solutions to get rid of them. Yeah, and so far the traps, they seem to be working, catching and killing dozens of rats. I News reporter Tim Fleischer has the details. Rats, 21 of them trapped and humanely killed. This not so pleasant demonstration illustrating a plan Borough President Eric Adams believes will work citywide. A rat may think they're going to eat when they go right up into this container. The infestation around Borough Hall had gotten so bad the rats were coming out during the daytime, as seen in this video put out by the Borough President's office. During the last month in a pilot project with Rat Trap Incorporated, four of these specialized Echo Millet traps were set up around Borough Hall and successfully trapped over 100 rats. The traps contain bait in the top that attracts them. Go to eat food, it'll rotate, drop them into the bottom where there's a uh, water, ba water alcohol based solution. And they die humanely, the company's owner claims. The trap even has a counter that indicates how many rats have been trapped. The traps are cleaned out on a periodic basis. We don't have a current rat plan in this city. At a cost of three to four hundred dollars to purchase and maintain traps of this nature, officials believe they are worth the price. Let's mandate, if it's not this device, something of this capacity that is going to rid us of the infestation in the area. Two years ago, the mayor announced a thirty-two million dollar multi-agency plan to reduce the city's rat population. The borough president also doesn't want to see garbage left out on the sidewalks where rats can feed. He believes the traps can be employed anywhere there is an infestation problem. As a mom, I wouldn't want to live in a building or a home that had a rat or I had to fear that because our children in particular are so vulnerable. And so I'm really here because we have to find new solutions. Others see expanding possibilities. We can expand jobs while empowering people to improve quality of life and conditions for business using this, this device. Brooklyn officials hope the city considers the traps, if not a pilot project with them, to seriously curtail rat infestation.